Welcome to Halo Talk. In this podcast, we discuss everything Angels related as I give you guys updates on scores, standing players, along with my personal opinions. Well, welcome back to Halo Talk. Um, welcome back if you've seen my other video, uh, other podcast. Uh, welcome if you're new. Guys, we have um, a lot to talk about today. Let's start off by talking about the Angels' performance this past week. The Angels did... Angels had a great week. The Angels played the Dodgers and the Rays and ended up 4-2. and two. Um, They swept the Dodgers in two games. Well, it, two games, it's not a real sweep, but if the Angels could beat them twice when they go to Dodger Stadium like ne- in a couple months, uh, then that's pretty much a full sweep. So we're going to have to wait for that. Uh, game 1. So game 1 of the Angels-Dodgers two-game series, uh, the Dodgers had Rio on the mound. He is, like, just lights out this year. Probably the best pitcher so far this year. Uh, Angels hit off him a little bit, but didn't score other than Cole Cahoon's home run off uh, Ryu. Uh, then Trout later in the game hit a game-tying home run, tied it at 3-3, three to three, and then Joe Kelly blew the game, um, I believe, in the seventh inning. Wild pitches, walks. I don't think the Angels had a single hit that inning. And uh, they scored two runs. So they won 5-3 to three, um, on Monday last week. And then game two, the Angels exploded in the first inning, scoring five runs off of home runs from Otani and Bohr. Bohr's first at bat, actually, back from AAA. And the Angels won 5-3 to three again. And then the four-game series versus Tampa Bay. Uh, the Angels split the series, but uh, should have swept. The the two games that the Angels lost, they should have won. Um, so the first game of the series, Otani hit for the cycle, um, which is just crazy. This this man Otani is just he's truly just going to be an unbelievable player. Um, already having a great start to the year. Also, Pujols hit a home run, uh, g- gave the Angels another five to three win. I mean, only five to three wins this week. All four wins. This week, Angels won 5-3. to three. Um, The second game of the series was the Rays. Angels go off to a 4-0 four, uh, four lead, scoring three runs in three innings off of Cy Young Blake Snell, which is more than impressive. Only reason we lose this game is because Luis Garcia and Cody Allen completely blow up um, or screw up. I was watching Cody Allen pitching, and that inning would just not end. It would... Literally not end. Uh, I don't remember how many runs he gave up in like half an inning of pitching, but it was really bad. Also, the Angels DFA'd Cody Allen, I believe, right after that game, which is good. And I think another team will pick him up, and then they'll take like his contract or whatever's left of it. I'm not really completely sure how it works, but the Angels have him, I believe, one year, $8 million, which is way too much for a horrible reliever. Um, and then game three of the series, Angels won again 5-3 to three off of homers from Bohr, Fletcher, and Kevin Smith. Pretty pretty solid offensive night. And then the game today, a Sunday uh, day game today, or yesterday actually, it's really late. God, this is a really late podcast. Um, I was supposed to do it like five hours earlier. I was supposed to record this podcast like five hours earlier. So, uh, most of you guys are probably listening, like, Monday afternoon, tuning in. Um, anyway, uh, Angels lost today, game that they should have easily won. Uh, they lost 6-5, to five. Angels left 17 runners on base this game. And that's not a typo, 17, 17 runners on base. The game was 4-3 to three Rays going into the 8th, where Taylor Cole gave up two runs that he really shouldn't have given up. And then Trout hit a two-run bomb in the ninth, which should have at least tied it or probably took and take the lead, but it doesn't. It only brings them down. It brings them down by one. And then Cole Calhoun, well, then Otani walks, gets the second by an Albert Pools ground out, and then so run out second two outs. Cole Calhoun has a good at bat, drawing the at bat to full count where he takes ball four, except it's called a strike, and it's not even close. This ball is like. So far outside, if you guys look and see this play or see this call, it's just such a horrible call. 
I would have put runners on first and second with David Fletcher up to try to get a hit to tie the game. <clears throat> and my opinion on this, if this, this is such a game changing call and if it's like if if it's such a game changing call and it's clearly not even close to a strike, you should be able to challenge this pitch call. I mean, you really should because Calhoun has a great take. Um he knows it's a ball. It's clearly a ball. And then the umpire somehow called it a strike. I mean, my opinion on this is that you can clearly see when you're watching the game, they have a strike zone. And you can see it clearly a ball. You should be able to overturn that call, especially in such a big situation. It's just not really fair. Like, how did that end the game? How does taking a ball give you strike three to end the game i get like borderline pitches yeah but like this ball is not even close but anyway the angels i mean this was really tough but angels split the series it's it already happened like what can you do about it uh and this week was still great angels go four uh four and two off of pretty much playoff teams the dodgers are like the best team in baseball i think um which is just a great sign it could give great momentum going into the series versus the Blue Jays in Toronto. The next series is versus the Blue Jays in Toronto. Um, Toronto. Speaking of Toronto, the Raptors just won the NBA Finals. But um, I want to talk about that at the end of the video. Um, uh, let's okay. Let's go and talk about who pitched good this week. Griffin Canning, first game versus the Dodgers. He pitched pretty great. Um, he had a great game against the Dodgers, who's who's probably like the best lineup in the MLB. Uh, he gave up three runs, but I mean they were pretty unlucky runs. Like the runs he allowed didn't really doesn't reflect the good performance he had he had on the mound. Um, bullpen also shut it shut it down. Uh, gave the Angels a win. Game two, Felix Pena didn't do great, but the bullpen backed him up. Bullpen was really solid this week. Um, except for a few people um, that kind of blew it. <clears throat> Cody Allen, Taylor Cole. Um, generally, the bullpen was really good. I believe Cameron Drosian did not allow a run. He, sco- he pitched about, I think, four to five different outings. So, like, four to five different innings. He didn't allow a run. So, Cameron Drosian is definitely looking good. Um, and, yeah, t- the Taylor Cole... It's just awful. He he blew up the game um, today. Yeah, he blew the game today. Luis Garcia hasn't been good either. And then Cody Allen. Um, I already said that Cody Allen did really bad. And then he got DFA'd. Um, but all in all, other than a few thorns, the Angel had such a great week. I mean, if Taylor Cole, Luis Garcia, and Cody Allen didn't exist, the Angels would be 6-0 and this week. They would have won every game. I mean, off of great teams too. Off of playoff teams. And, I mean, this is a great sign. And I'm going to give a bold prediction right now. Um, write this down. The Angels the Angels race series this week is a wild card preview. I really believe that this is a wild card preview. Uh, the Angels showed... I think the Angels have showed this year that they can be a playoff team. The record doesn't reflect it. Still two games under five hundred, But, I mean, the Angels have blown a lot of games that they should have won. I mean, just this series, they should have won all four games. Um, for a better example, earlier this year, if you guys remember the Angels-Yankees series, I think that Yan- the Angels lost by one run every game. Should have won literally, I think, all three games they played versus the Yankees. Um, and that's kind of happened, that's been how, that's how it's been, like, the last few years, just underperforming, but this year, I definitely think it's different. A lot of new great hitters, Tommy LaStella, Goodwin's also been great, the whole lineup's been great, Fletcher, uh, Calhoun's been great, and now Shohei Otani, obviously, the last couple of years, he's been great for us, um, and the bullpen, the bullpen's turning a corner and starting to become pretty solid. Um, our bullpen is not bad anymore. It's not like it was 
like last year and the year before where it was just completely awful. It's pretty great now besides besides a few players that are really bad, like Taylor Cole, Cody, Cody Allen. But Cody Allen did get DFA'd. It's like the third time I mentioned that. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So now um, let's look at the next series. Series versus Toronto for four games. Uh, Justin Upton will be activated tomorrow. Um, Going to make his debut this year. Um, as you guys remember, he was injured in spring training. Like, I think the last day of spring training, he injured his toe. But he was back. I actually saw him rehabbing in San Bernardino like last week. And he was looking good. So that's going to be a huge uh, plus for our lineup. Um, but that actually leaves us a lot of outfielders. Justin Upton, Mike Trout, Cole Cahoon, Cedar Pueyo, and Brian Goodwin. And that's pro- that's going to probably go down to Cedar Pueyo or Goodwin getting sent down. Um, I don't know how Goodwin w- would be sent down, but I, I've been hearing rumors that he could. But there's just no way. Goodwin's had such a great year. Um, I'm going to say there's no way. They're, the Angels are probably going to send down Cedar Pueyo. He's been pretty solid, but he's only been doing good for like a couple weeks. Goodwin's been doing good all year. Um, so Cesar Pueyo is probably going to be sent down. Um, also, Simmons is going to be back soon. I think last time I heard he could be back this week already off of a... He had a bad ankle sprain, and he could be back this week already, um, which is such a great sign. We already have a great lineup, and then once Simmons and Upton get back, it's just going to be amazing. Okay, this is what this is what our starting lineup could be if everyone's healthy. Tommy LaStella, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Justin Upton, Albert Pujols, Andrelton Simmons, Jonathan Lucroy, Cole Cahoon, David Fletcher. I mean, if you really think about that, that is such a great lineup. Tommy Lestella, all-star. Mike Trout, all-star. Shohei Otani, the sky is the ceiling for him. He He's literally like, people don't realize how good he this man can become. Upton is still a really, really great hitter. And he's probably still going to be a great slugger. Albert, um, his OPS is in the high 700s. Uh, pretty low average. If anything... If there was any holes in that lineup, it would probably be Albert and Jonathan Lucroy. Everyone else is such a great hitter in the lineup. Albert Pujols and Jonathan Lucroy are probably average. They're not even bad. They're average. Um, the lineup, like I say, I think every podcast, I always have to mention how good our lineup is. Um, well, that lineup I just said there, the bottom part of the lineup was not really in any particular order. But, you know, like the first probably four batters, Tommy Stella, Trout, Otani, Upton, that's probably how the first uh, four batters are going to be. We finally have Upton back, who he's probably going to be a good uh, good cleanup hitter. We finally got our cleanup hitter back. I mean, we've been, or Osmus has been swapping in Different hitters clean up. I even we even saw Jonathan Lucroy hitting clean up a couple of games, couple games which was really bad. Um, Albert's been hitting clean up. Simba Simba's been hitting clean up a little bit, uh, but once Upton's back, he's gonna be a great clean up hitter. I mean, I really hope this lineup can just be great. I mean, the talents there, the lineup just looks so good, especially when it's. I mean, it's already good. Tommy LaStella has just been such an unbelievable upside. The biggest surprise in MLB this year, I think. I mean, he got went from someone that barely got picked up this year to a starting all-star. Um, and then up then, Simba is going to come back. It's just going to be a great lineup. Um, yeah, and, and then pitching bullpen. The only thorns, I think, in the pitching... Are Taylor Cole, Trevor Cahill, Matt Harvey, and Luis Garcia. Players like Justin Anderson, um, who else? I'm not sure. But players like Justin Anderson, he isn't bad. Um, I think he's definitely going to get better. Um, but other than that, like, 